Welcome to what the ampersand in front of and block means. Here's what we're going to do in this video. First, we'll look at an example that uses and block. Then we'll talk about the differences between blocks and proc objects because both are involved when we use and block. And then finally, we'll talk about why converting a block to a proc object is necessary. Let's get started. Here's our and block example. This line of code is a line of code I pulled from the Rails code base. It's the definition for the form4 method, which you have, of course, probably seen before. This method takes three arguments. We're not going to pay much attention to the first two arguments. All we're going to do is pay attention to how the first two arguments are different from the third argument, which is kind of special. So the first argument, record, there's nothing special at all happening there options we're setting a default value of an empty hash to that value that's also pretty straightforward and then the third argument and block is maybe a little more mysterious this syntax will of course be familiar to anybody who's been using ruby for a while but you might not know exactly what it does why it's there that kind of thing so that's what we're going to talk about now here we have a method called proc me on line one you can see that proc me takes a single argument my proc proc me expects my proc to be a proc. On line two, proc me puts his my proc dot class. Then below on line five, we're calling proc me, and for an argument, we're passing a proc. What do you think we'll get when we run this code? We get proc, of course. Now let's look at a second example. In addition to proc me, let's have a second method called block me. Block me is very similar to proc me with one small but crucial difference. Look at lines one and five. You can see that the parameter block me takes has an ampersand in front of it, whereas the parameter that proc me takes does not. Now let's turn our attention to the way that block me is called, which is different from the way that proc me is called. Proc me accepts an instance of a proc object, whereas block me just takes a block. What do you think we'll get when we run this program? We know that the output of proc me is proc. What will the output of block me be? The output of block me is also proc. Let's take a look at the code again and talk about why this is. Let's now look at this code and run it in our heads. When line nine is executed, we're passing a proc object into proc me. That proc object is then getting substituted for my proc on line one. Then on line two, we're outputting my proc.class, which is proc. Now let's mentally execute line 10. Block me takes a block, and then on line five, the argument my block is getting converted from a block to a proc object. That's what the ampersand does. Then when we put myblock.class, it's not block, it's proc. The reason for all this block proc conversion is this. Ruby does have such a thing as a proc class and the concept of a proc object, but Ruby has no such thing as a block class or a block object. So in order to be worked with concretely, every block needs to be converted to a proc object. Thanks for watching this video. To find my blog posts, products, podcasts, and other videos, visit codewithjason.com.